Okay, so one of the things I find with the dishes is that they are so freaking overwhelming to me. I always think they're gonna take so much longer to do than they actually take. And I stress about it. Like I'll avoid doing the dishes the entire day, get stressed out about how many dishes there are in our space. And then it takes like 10 minutes to do the actual dishes. Peter is off in Andover today doing some instrument repair tech work for Wessex tubas. And we had to be up at six for that. Not usually early morning risers. And I was having my coffee and I just thought, I am going to tackle this first thing, get the kitchen nice and tidy, go and have a shower, and then maybe sit outside with a second cup of coffee and start work fresh. Then I thought I might as well film it. We were supposed to be filming a kind of wrap up today about what's been happening over the past week to tie in a few little bits and bobs that I put together for a vlog. And uh, Peter got called in to work. We're both self-employed, but he does instrument repair tech work for Wessex tubas and brass. And we're in a place right now where we can't really turn down the extra work because our septic system has failed us and we need a full replacement along with our neighbors. So we have been working as many extra hours, taking on as many extra jobs as possible the past couple of months so we can bank the additional income and then spend it all on a new septic tank because home ownership. <laughs> Actually, I love owning our own home. This is a dream, really. I mean, there's some things we can't really get into about our septic system and some drama surrounding it. I can't really talk about online right now. Aside from that drama, it's great. Home ownership has been great. Usually, while I'm doing the dishes, I pop on some YouTube and <laughs> some YouTube, I'm old. I pop on YouTube and I catch up on some of my favorite channels. Today, because we were supposed to be filming this wrap up so we could get this new vlog out there and Peter abandoned me by taking on actual paid work. How dare he? I thought maybe instead of watching YouTube while I do the dishes, I could actually film the segment that we need for the vlog while washing the dishes. So. Here we go. What's been happening in the past week? We have, and by uh, when I say we, I mean Peter dismantled our upstairs window and has taken that apart and has been working on refurbishing it. Our house is an 18th century cottage here in Dorset. It was built in the 1720s, I'm pretty sure. And the windows are not that old, obviously, but the windows are pretty old. And we knew that they needed upgrading when we bought the house, but we are bound and determined to get the most use out of these things as possible before spending money on upgrading the windows because we just don't have that in our budget. and. I would love to maintain the character of the home, but right now we wouldn't be able to afford to replace the windows with windows that would do that. So Peter is refurbishing these wooden windows by getting out all of the rot, filling it with this putty stuff, he'll be able to explain it better, and then sanding it all down, painting them properly, and putting them back in place. We're gonna have a full vlog dedicated to that because I'm not doing this justice. We also were really excited because in the past month we've started playing some live music again. Just like the northern lights, you take we haven't been playing live regularly because my back injury is just so unpredictable. got a herniated disc. If you've been watching the channel or follow us on socials, you'll know that I've been struggling with this since the beginning of October. It's been a fight to get where we are now, but I am on a wait list for a spinal decompression surgery, which should hopefully, fingers crossed, fix most of the problem. Get me back to my regular self, hopefully 100%. But until then, it's really hard to know what my body is able to handle and what my pain is looking like prior to the morning I wake up, or even like 10 minutes before a flare up. So we've been really skeptical to book any kind of gigs in this time because I don't wanna to have to cancel them. And also I know myself, I am stubborn. Like I'm really, really stubborn. And I would probably make the wrong choice if it was between canceling a gig for my health and playing the gig out so I don't disappoint anybody. So we've been very hesitant to book anything. But recently we've been playing a few gigs at our local cider farm because we've been able to partner up with 
friends who are able to take over half the night so they do a set and then we do a set and if my body is not happy or I'm having more pain than normal or more pain than anticipated I have the option of you know handing the reins over to the artist that we shared the stage with. So it's a bit of like a, a safety blanket for me to ensure that I'm not gonna push myself too hard and that the venue will still have live music for the time that they've booked live music for. So those gigs have been going really well. We've got another one coming up at the end of the month with our friend Becky Lawrence, who's coming down from Bristol and she'll be staying with us. That's really exciting. What else were we gonna talk about? Peter had a really exciting phone call the other day. I came downstairs and I didn't hear the beginning of it, but I could tell by the way he was sitting that it was something that was important. And so I got out not just one camera, but two cameras so I could catch multiple angles of the conversation. And I'm really glad I did. I'm just gonna segue straight into that right now so you can hear what's going on with that. Well, must have been slim pickings. <laughs> I got the feeling that that might have been an important phone call. So that was the art gallery saying that they've got this big client that keeps buying art from them and has basically pretty much cleared them out. So now they've got eight artists that I think either the gallery or the client like that want to put us forward like in a little um, slideshow presentation and then like put us forward for a commission for like four to eight paintings. They couldn't say too much. They're trying to keep their cards close to their chest without spilling any beans. But I think it's a really big op opportunity, which I'm one of eight people that they chose to do it. Sorry, my face isn't being reacted. <laughs> my mouth is just open. I'm just so happy for you. Jeez Louise. I don't know too much. Um, because she couldn't say too much. I just know I need to send two pictures of paintings to them so they can do this presentation. And if they like us, like a certain amount of people will go forward and paint from a brief and then they'll choose who they want from this brief to do more paintings. For them. How do you feel about that? I feel great. What kind of like, style? Because you have to choose which style to put forward. Did she give you any kind of like idea? Well, I think they're after something landscapey, not seascape, I don't think. I think it's definitely landscape, nature based, so. It's amazing. There isn't much of a brief apart from knits. I think it's like a fancy retreat or something, like health spa kind of big investors jobby. So. That would be cool. It's very cool. And you did a burp in the middle of that really important phone call. I did do a burp. It probably sounded like it was me just going, burp, burp, burp. <laughs> To be fair though, you're usually the one who burps or farts in the background of my important phone calls. When do you ever have important phone calls? I'm joking. It's a good opportunity. I don't expect I'll get it. But it's nice to be considered. That is what I needed. Now that's the win I needed. I don't need to win the commissions, even though it would be amazing. It's just nice to be one of eight artists. I don't know how many artists they have on their books, but they thought of me. I'm so proud of you. I'm I need so to quickly you. send this invite off. I need to quickly give you a kiss. I love you. Oh, I love you too. No. So now I need to go and go through and figure out. Okay, cool, right? <laughs> really, really cool. And I am so excited for him. What the hell is that? So this in here, I think those are pieces of our stove because the top has cracked off. So I'm not gonna, I almost threw those away. I think Peter's saving them so he can fix the top of the stove. What else do we have coming up? We've got a few travel vlogs that we're gonna be putting out very soon. They're pretty much edited and we're waiting back because we have a potential exciting thing happening with a agency in China. So before we can put those videos out, we need to figure out if that's actually happening because if it is, then we have to wait a little bit longer before we can post them as they would have priority on who can post them first. So here's a few shots 
thoughts from our travels so you know what to expect in the future and hopefully those will be coming out soon. Actually, I'm almost done the dishes now and I think I've only been recording this for like 22 minutes, which means the whole kitchen took less than 22 minutes. Why is this something I stress over all the time when it takes so little time? It's almost nine o'clock a.m. and I am going to head upstairs, have a quick shower, gonna make myself a cup of coffee and then I'm gonna go sit in the sunshine and edit some of the videos that I have on my to-do list today. So I actually do video production, content creation, and social media management full time. I've got a few clients, but my main client is Wessex Tubas and Brass. I really love working with them. I've learned so much about brass instruments in the last little while. And today I've got a few videos to work on for them. Some of the stuff that we shot while we were in China at the factory, quality checking their instruments. And I've also got a few finishing touches to put on a video that I filmed for the Venezia Contemporiana. I'm probably mispronouncing that. I'm gonna pop it up here on the screen the La Storta Gallery in Venice that Peter showcased his 28-day painting challenge collection at. So we made a video for them, a promotional video, to help them find more artists to come and showcase their work at that space. We made a vlog about our time there as well, so if you're interested in seeing that, I'll pop that up here on the screen. I think that's it for me today, just working on the Wessex Tubas video and the Venice video and this video. Thank you so much for doing the dishes with me. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, here's something that we think you would enjoy watching next and here's something that YouTube thinks you would enjoy watching next. Okay, bye! If you enjoyed this style of video, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> um, ew. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a shower and get to work.